We have a lot of tools at our disposal in the Kettleland Live Doppler HD Storm Center. Easily our most used and most useful is our Doppler radar system. Meteorologist Adam Rutt looks at something other than storms that we can see on radar. Now that we're well within our severe weather season, we need and use our radar products for a variety of reasons. Most obviously, we track where storms are and where they are going, giving as much lead time as possible for people to prepare for bad weather. But our radar can also be used to pick up other features that don't get talked about too often. One such feature is called an outflow boundary, better known simply as a gust front. This is the result of cooler downdrafts from a thunderstorm hitting the ground and spreading outward along the surface. We had a good example of what a gust front looks like yesterday, both in real time and on radar. Notice the veil of dust approaching our Rapid City camera. That's the gust front in real time. It can also be seen on radar. Look carefully at the thin green line ahead of that thunderstorm. That's where our gust front is, running multiple miles ahead of the parent cell. You'll know when the gust front has passed when you experience a shift in wind direction and a drop in temperature. If two of these boundaries intersect, the resulting instability can create new thunderstorms. We'll see whether we observe any gust fronts on radar again as we watch for our next severe weather potential, which just happens to be on Wednesday. For Kelowind Weather, I'm meteorologist Adam Rudd.